Brown rot is a major worldwide disease on stone fruits like peaches, plums, and apricots. It is caused by a microscopic fungus called monolinia. This fungus damages blossoms, twigs, green fruit, mature fruit, and even fruit after harvest. It produces tiny spores in spring and throughout the summer that help spread the disease. Before peach season even begins, two kinds of spores begin to form. One kind, Canidia, are clonal, and each spore is identical. Canidia form on infected twigs or on shriveled up, fungus-covered peaches remaining in the tree canopy, called fruit mummies. The other kind, Ascospores, are produced when two fungal mating types combine information to produce genetically diverse spores. These spores form in mushroom-like structures called apothecia that grow on mummies on the orchard floor, if there is enough moisture provided by surrounding plant material. When spring weather brings bloom to the peach orchard, both types of spores are prepared to infect. Wind blows spores through the orchard, while rain disturbs spores and splashes them to nearby blooms. Rain and high humidity also trigger spores to invade blossom tissue, resulting in blossom blight. Blighted blossoms can be recognized by several characteristics. First, sunken wood around the blossom, called a canker. Second, gummy ooze surrounding the blossom. And third, spores developing on the blossom and canker. Green fruit are not as easily infected as ripe fruit or blossoms. However, two types of green fruit infections do occur. In the first type of infection, the fungus hides on the fruit without causing symptoms until fruit ripens. In the second, the fruit rots while still green and produces even more spores within the orchard. Spores spread from tree mummies twig cankers, infected blossoms, and rotten green fruit to healthy fruit. Insects and sometimes birds feed on ripening fruit, helping to spread the spores throughout the orchard. As fruit mature and fill with sugars, brown rot symptoms become more common throughout the orchard. The rot first looks like a bruise that gradually grows. Within a few days, spores are produced on the surface of the peach. Rain splash, wind, and insects continue to spread the fungus to healthy fruit. Rotten peaches may fall off the tree, but chemicals produced by the fungus can glue infected peaches to the branch. Then, peaches dry and shrivel into mummies. As the fungus continues to colonize the fruit, millions more spores can be released from just one infected peach. Mummies and cankers remaining in the orchard will start the whole cycle over next year. Symptoms on peaches are not always visible until after they are picked. That is why peaches often begin to rot on the kitchen counter or in the packing house just a few days after harvest, or even after cold storage. Unfortunately, wherever peaches are, brown rot is not far away. But there are ways to manage it. First, make sure the orchard floor is not overgrown. This will make it harder for spore-producing structures to form on mummies on the ground. Second, pruning out diseased twigs and removing mummies from trees 
will decrease the number of spores available to infect blossoms when the season begins. Lastly, protect fruit from insects and fungal infections using pesticides. Fungicide applications are particularly critical during bloom and prior to harvest, when the fungus is most active. Now you know a little more about what brown rot is, where it comes from, and how to manage it. Fighting brown rot is not easy, but every juicy, delicious peach we eat is a testimony that it's definitely worth the effort. <laughs>